Hey guys and gals, Android Tech Heroes here. We're going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to use the Note 2 multi-window feature. Now I've got a lot of questions on how to use it. Um, some people say that it doesn't even work, so we're going to go over the steps on how to turn it on and um, basically how to work it to ensure that um, you have the easiest multi-window um, uh, task. Now. The Galaxy S3 should be getting the update soon on this multi-window feature. So if um, you don't have it, you can actually um, go and find one if you don't have the Galaxy S3 or the Note 2. Um, if you go and look at my other videos in my video queue um, and look at the split browser and um, the sidebar app reviews, and those both apps, you're able to basically use um, the multi-window just like a Note 2. So go and check that out if you haven't already seen them. Um, and if you like them, of course, uh, subscribe and um, like the video because it, it does teach you a lot of cool things. Now, in this video, I'm going to be teaching you exactly how to use this multi-window feature right here and um, how to turn it on and how to get it. So first off, uh, there's two ways you can turn it on. Um, you either have to have, I think it's the newest Jelly Bean version to even have it. It's the 4.1.2 version, um, right? Or I think it might be the .1 as well, but um, I'm pretty sure it's 4.1.2. Um, you'll see multi-window right here in your uh, notification pull-down panel, and that's how you can turn it on. Um, obviously, if it's checked green, that's that means that you're able to use it. If it's off, um, you won't see it down here. So when you turn it on, it'll pop up right here. Um, if you turn it off, oops, it'll obviously go away. Now there's a couple of ways you can actually turn it on. Um, uh, obviously that way, or you can go into your settings, go to display, and you'll see it right here. It says multi-window. Um, if it's checked, that means obviously it's on, so you don't see it right here. So when I check it, you'll see it pop up. Obviously, it pops back up. Um, when, it, when it is checked, if you don't like this thing and it gets in your way, you're able to move it up and down. And if you want to move it to on the upsides, um, opposite side of the screen or on the top and bottom, you just open it up like this and then hold it down, long press it, and then you're able to move it. Now, um, you can only do that when it's open. Um, when it's closed, if you long press it, you're able to, um, to move it up and down to where uh, you see fit. I like mine right there. But if you don't like it, you're able, actually able to hold down the back button, long press the back button. Here, let me show you. So if I long press it, it'll get rid of it. It's not there anymore. And if I want it back, it's kind of a quick way to get it. Um, you can just long press the back button again and it'll obviously pop up. So that's a pretty cool way you can do it. Now just remember when it when the multi-window is off and you long press the button, it won't it won't open. As you can see, it's just switching, switching screens. That's my launcher. That won't happen on yours if you have um, the regular TouchWiz, but um, if you hold down the back button and it's not working, then make sure that your multi-window is actually on in order for it to work. And then it'll come on and off when you hold and long press the back button. So let's get hood and get started real quick. You obviously can open it like that. You just, just press it and it gives you a bunch of um, different apps. Now you can't use all of the apps that you have just because only certain ones work with the stock feature. Now if you go and look at my other video on sidebar, um, it's exactly like the Note 2 multi-window and you can use any app that you want as you can see here, which is pretty cool. Um, so um, you're able to do this, but it doesn't give you this, mul this multi-window feature. So anyway, and if you wanna edit the, um, the apps that you can use, you're able to go right here and hit the edit button and it'll allow you to um, move them off the screen if you don't want them in the bar or move them back. Um, you can obviously long press it and then um, switch the app order. So that's pretty cool. And um, that's basically it. And it says right here, you can add additional apps that support multi-window mode are stored here. Uh, to customize shortcuts, press and hold the app and drag it and drop it in the tray. So you can just hold it and customize it the way you see fit. And then you can hit done. So let's go ahead and actually show you it. 
you got to actually hold the button. You can't really press it to get it up. So you have to actually hold it down, drag it over, and um, you just make two of them, whatever you like. And you're able to do two things at once. You can scroll the internet while you're um, looking at your messages. It's a really great window feature and you can actually make either one more dominant. So you can move the middle screen if you want to look at your message more while still um, obviously searching the web up here. You can do it and uh, make either one the way you see fit so it's a pretty cool pretty cool feature um, if I wanted to actually move um, the internet down below I can actually when you move this bar it'll pop up you'll see this right here this means swap and um, full screen so if I wanted to swap the screens I just do this and now my messaging is up here and my Google's down here and I can swap them back um, whatever whatever I feel like it um, if I want this to go back to full screen, um, I would just hit the full screen button. And um, that's basically it guys. That's basically how you're, um, you're able to use it. And you're, you're actually able to use it um, fairly, fairly nice. It, it does show up above um, apps so you can use them over apps. So you're able to um, access it pretty much anywhere. And that, that's basically it, guys. That's, that's how you use it. If you guys have any questions or concerns, um, let me know. If you're having trouble with it and this hasn't helped you, then um, let me know and I can further assist you. Um, I, guys, hope you enjoy this. For those of you who um, are having trouble with it, um, like the video. Um, if you enjoyed the video, if you guys have any other questions, um, be sure to let me know and I will help you the best way I can. Subscribe for more things that you don't know about your phone and more apps that you don't know about. And... Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm Mr. Rockstar with Android Tech Heroes, and we'll see you in the next video, guys. Thanks.